I just spent my first night here in Phoenix. I arrived yesterday afternoon about 4.30 or so after a hell, a day from hell. Uh, plane ride from Panama City to Houston to Phoenix. I, I, I remember now why I don't like traveling so much. Uh, don't like being on the airplanes and uh, but anyway, I made it here. I'm safe. I'm here at Juan and Letitia's, and I need to adjust my camera. But I made it here, and I'm at a beautiful place here in, in your, here in Phoenix. I'm not going to say where it is to protect their anonymity. They got a beautiful home, this beautiful yard, nice swimming pool here, as you can see from the pictures, the videos. But I made it. You know, and while I was back, while I was on the way up here. I got, I kept in touch with what's going on, Facebook in Monta with all the violence and stuff. And of course there again, I mean, the, the violence in Monta is not that bad, you know, but there is, there's been a, there was a murder the other day of a, a fish supplier, a guy that's well known for supplying fish to various restaurants and vendors throughout, uh, Monta. He was, uh, the report that I received was that he was assassinated because he he refused to give in to the uh, protection bribery uh, extortion. You know, the some people wanted to extort him for protection, and he he refused. So they assassinated him. They killed him, and that's the kind of crap that's going on. And uh, later on today, I'll post another video about what's happening. Uh, more up-to-date news on what's happening as far as the unrest and all the the uh, uh, the, the civil unrest that's going on there in Montel. And I'll try to give you as much accurate information as I can. Uh, it feels good to be here in Phoenix. I'm outside in this yard. And I, there's there's a few things missing I, that I I haven't heard. Since I've been here, I haven't heard a single car alarm go off yet. Not a single one. All I hear is the traffic on the 51 that we're here. People going to work, you know, it's, uh, it's about 20 minutes till 8 here. And people are going to work. I'm going to work too, I guess. I'm going to do as much as I can to keep reporting on the news that as I get it. And... I don't want to discourage you. I'm not from going, taking your trip to South America or going to uh, Monta. I just do want to encourage you that you exercise caution and be informed, okay? Be informed, watch the news, join the Facebook pages and and stay stay tuned to what's what's happening and listen to what people are saying. I do know that there are a lot of naysayers out there that are are saying, you know, don't go, don't go, and everything. But no, I'm not saying that. I'm saying go ahead and go. If you can avoid flying into Waikil, I would do that. Don't go into Waikil. If you do go into Waikil, take a taxi straight to the hotel, stay in the hotel for the night, and then get your ride out the next morning and go on to Monta. And there's frost coming out of my mouth. Let's see. Uh, it's about 40 something degrees here, so it feels really nice and crispy and cool here this morning. Beautiful morning here in Phoenix. So anyway, so that's it. That's it for now. Uh, thanks so much for watching and keeping in touch with me. And folks, I am going back to Ecuador. So I'm not here. Uh, the first thing that we did last night when we got here was went to... Uh, Phil's barbecue and we had barbecue and I had brisket and here's a little clip of me uh, Sampling a piece of brisket, but I do have to say uh, I didn't pick up the tab for this. I wanted to but they wouldn't let me but I do have to say that it was fairly pricey there were three of us and uh, Two of us I believe had a beer. I had a half pound of, of moist brisket that was mouth-watering and I didn't even want to chew it. I just wanted to swallow it. Oh, but, and then I had a little thing of 
a potato salad and I'll tell you man it was a uh, quite delicious and but it was like ninety six dollars for the three of us to have that meal so it yeah it's uh, so far I mean yeah it's it's yeah it's a little shocking <laughs> I would think because I would think that if from what I remember three years ago that meal probably would have been thirty five or forty bucks you know so I'd say so far it looks like in that particular case, the price is a double, but, the, but hey, that's barbecue, and it's probably the best barbecue in the Phoenix area. I'm sure some will disagree with me on that, okay? So that's it for now. I will be back with you later. I have to go this morning at 11 o'clock and get my driver's license renewed. I have an appointment with the DMV. Then I'm going to go visit some friends. I have a nice vehicle to drive here, and uh, hopefully by 1130, I'll be able to drive it legally. So after I get my license renewed. Okay, have a good day. I'll talk to you folks later. Ciao, ciao.